guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, make sure you subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a comparison of two really cult products in the beauty world right now, and they are both my cell orders. The first product I'm going to be putting to the test is a product I've actually been using for many years now, and I've been loving it. It has gotten me through so much. It is the micellar cleansing water from Garnier. And I know I really love this product. I know what it can do, but a product I haven't tried before and I want to compare it to a product that is a lot cheaper that I already know I love. It's the very expensive Bioderma. I have heard nothing but amazing things about Bioderma. It is loved by models all across the world. I think it's a Parisian brand and it was so expensive. Like this stuff is like 11, 12 dollars for 400 milliliters. This little 250 milliliters I think was over 30 dollars. So I want to see if paying 30 bucks for just over half the amount of something that is about 12 dollars is actually worth it. Is Bioderma worth it? Head to good old trusty gun yet. Yeah. Let's find out. So how I remove my makeup is I usually start with a face wipe and I get rid of the bulk of my makeup and then I'll go in with my micellar water and take off the residue and cleanse the skin. So I'm going to be testing the gun here on one side and comparing it to the bioderma on the other. So let's get into it. bulk of my makeup so I've only just got a bit of residue left so I want to see if Garnier is comparable to Bioderma. So I'm first going to start off with Garnier on the side of my face and then I'll move on to the Bioderma on the side of my face. Cleaned my face. I use Garnier on the side and Bioderma on the side. Now, I just say they both performed very similarly. I used three cotton rounds on each side, so I wanted to keep it quite even. And let me just say, they both performed so similar. They're both my cellar waters, but I was pretty impressed with how much. Bioderma I was able to pick up. Looking at the cotton rounds, the first two on the Garnier side didn't pick up as much as the first two on the Bioderma side, whereas on the last one they both picked up pretty similar amounts. So I'm considering the fact that, you know, more has been removed from the side of my face than that one. But my face looks pretty clean on both sides. I liked the way they performed on both. Both didn't sting my eyes. They removed the makeup. My skin feels a little bit cleaner on the side actually, but I think that's because I've just most recently done this one, whereas this one has had time to dry and stuff while I was doing the side. But my face feels very clean on both sides. Like, I can't deny, Bioderma works really well and it performed awesome and I'm gonna continue using it of course but I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it. The Garnier Micelle Water 
performed just as well. It did the same job. My face is just as clean on both sides. Like I can't deny the fact that they both performed well. And this one not only has a ton more product, but is a third of the price of this one. Like they're both awesome. I can't say one does an amazing job better than the other. I can only tell you they both do the same job. The only difference is the content size and the price difference. So if you've got the cash to splash and you don't mind, go for the Bioderma. But if you're on a budget and you want something that performs really well, stick with the Garnier. They both do such a good job. Like there's no comparison. There really isn't. The only comparison is the price difference and the millage. So yeah, I definitely really like both products and I'm going to use both of them up. However, I don't know if I'll purchase Bioderma again unless, you know, there was no stock Garnier in any store in the whole country. I do like it. I'm not going to lie, I do like it. But the price is so steep for what it is compared to the Garnier. It's just, if Bioderma was cheaper, I'd probably go for Bioderma to be honest. Yeah, the contents and all that sort of stuff, you know, but they both perform so well. Like, there's just no comparison. I'm sorry if you have had a different experience with either products. Please let me know down below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on both of these products and what you've experienced. But in just my experience today, I, I like them both. If I had to pick one, I would pick the Bioderma. But because of the price difference and the millage difference, the ultimate winner is probably going to be Garnier, but only by the tiniest amount. Because Bioderma is as great as everyone says it is, it really is. But this is just my first impression. I'm going to continue using both products and we'll see where they both get me. But yeah, not much comparison at all. Go for the Garnier. It's just so much cheaper and you get so much more inside the bottle. But I can't deny the Bioderma is really good. So whichever way you're gonna go, you're going to be happy with your results, I hope. So yeah, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. See ya.